Hi my dear students welcome back to my channel so in today's class let us learn about the unique properties of carbon hope you have seen the previous video where i explained about the basics of this lesson so introduction to lesson always matters a lot without having proper introduction to the lesson if you keep learning forward you, you may not be uh, feel easier to learn so do watch the previous video link of that video is given below in the description box and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe and share all the videos with your friends so i am going to help you for your board examination yes so today's class is very important as i told you we are going to learn about the unique nature of the carbon unique nature of the carbon so unique nature can also be called as versatile nature it is also called as versatile nature of the carbon see children this is a very very important concept the carbon has two important versatile nature or unique nature and the two important natures of the carbon are the first one is catenation so i hope you are hearing this word for the first time it's a new word catenation and the second property is called as tetravalency what is it called as tetravalency so what do i mean by catenation catenation in simple i can say carbon has the unique property so that unique property we can describe it as self linking ability of the carbon i think you did not get it for the first time when you are hearing you won't get it so catenation is nothing but self linking ability of the carbon what does mean by self linking see if you have one carbon okay and if this carbon is linking with another carbon in the previous video i told you carbon will form what kind of bond covalent bond what kind of bond is formed by carbon covalent bond right what is covalent bond the bond formed by sharing electrons correct so by sharing electrons carbon is forming bond and if carbon is linking with opposite carbon atom that is called as self linking what is it called as self linking so the self linking ability of the carbon to form a straight chain of carbon or this carbon also can form the branched chain like this or carbon can also form a cyclic chain like this what do you mean by cyclic chain it is a closed chain cyclic chain is called as closed chain is it clear so if carbon is having this property this property of the carbon that is a self linking ability see carbon is linking with carbon atom opposite carbon atom right so this property of carbon is called as catenation i think you are clear so how can we describe this self linking ability of the carbon note down self linking self linking ability of carbon carbon to form to form straight chain straight chain okay and comma branched chain branched chain or we can also write cyclic chain this is the other one cyclic chain okay so right so that is the first property i think you are clear let me now rub this and write it clearly so let me write here cyclic chain cyclic chain okay right so examples you can write here see i have written an example this is a branched chain you can see the carbon is branched and this is a closed chain it is called as cyclic chain and if carbon is forming a bond with opposite carbon like this and this is called as straight chain is it clear so self linking ability of the carbon is called as catenation clear let me now explain about tetravalency what is tetravalency tetra is nothing but four here the valency is nothing but the valence electron see carbon has four electrons children how many electrons carbon has carbon has four electrons on its body i am talking about the outermost electron valence electrons are nothing but the outermost electron so carbon has four valence electrons on its body this carbon 
can link with opposite carbon atom. Okay, this is a one way. Or carbon can also link with one of the element which is having monovalency. For example, let us take hydrogen. Hydrogen atomic number is one. Its electronic configuration is also one. So this hydrogen atom, it has one electron. Carbon also has one electron here. So this carbon and hydrogen can create a link between them. Is that clear? So what is tetravalency? It is a property of the carbon that carbon has four valence electron. It can bond with opposite carbon atoms or it can also bond with an atom which has monovalency. Any element if it has one valence electron so it is ready or it can easily link with carbon. This is called tetravalency. Is it clear? So this is very important to know catenation and tetravalency. As carbon has this two property, the entire structure is based on this properties only. Catenation and tetravalency. I think you are clear. So I, I hope you are clear, very clear with tetravalency. Clear right? It has four electrons. It can link with four other carbon atoms or an element it has which has one electron that is called as monovalence. So write the answer a point for this. So what do you write? Carbon has carbon has four valence electrons, four valence electrons. It can it can link with link with opposite carbon atom or an element an element which has which has mono monovalency or monovalence electron we can write monovalence electron monovalence electron is nothing but which has single electron okay clear right fine so in the next video i'll be teaching about the bonds which are created between different atoms uh, basically the bond which i'm talking in this lesson is all about covalent bond which are the bond i create between different elements in the lesson called carbon rich compounds all the bonds are covalent bonds we will start with simple bond that is formed by a uh, lightest element that is the hydrogen Okay, hydrogen is the lightest element in the periodic table. It can also form a covalent bond. And what kind of covalent bond is formed between the hydrogen molecule, oxygen molecule? We will talk about that in the next video. I hope you found this whole concept useful and understood uh, this concept. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much. And for more upcoming uh, carbon related videos, stay tuned to my channel.